Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel today. I've got Dorothy Who again and the Tin Man. Here we go. I've started off with Neltik's Formula 2, and here is China Glaze, the Tin Man. It is a Wizard of Oz type uh, inspired polish. And then Dorothy Who is back again. Um, I had a request by Brenda Romero Enfinger to swatch it. So I will be swatching that out here on my ring finger in just a moment. Um, I used it for a advanced stamping, reverse stamping manicure a while back. And she was wondering what it looked like swatch. So I am going to do that here today. <clears throat> being sure to cap my free edge here with the Tin Man and it's it's a really pretty polish it's got that you know that shimmer fleck going on in it I love polishes that do something like that hi Woody how you doing he then jumped in and jumped out <clears throat> so here we go with Dorothy who it is like a blue jelly with silver glitters in it I guess that's what you would call it it is such a gorgeous polish. It is the cousin to Ruby Pumps. Or the sister or something. It's definitely related. They are so pretty. They both just... And they both have really good formulas. I think that's another reason why I love them so much. I did make a tiny bit of mess, so Woody is back to clean that up. So here we go with our second coats. Again, this is the Tin Man. And it's, it's just a unique polish. Um, it's not really silver, but it's kind of silver. It's, it's really hard to describe. It makes it special. And then here we go with our second coat of Dorothy Who. And the second coat, I think, will be good on Dorothy. Dorothy Who. Excuse me. Um, but I am going to go in for that third coat on the Tin Man. I was still seeing some visible nail lines. So, you know, got to do what you got to do when you're playing nails. So there's that third coat. I might could have gotten away with not doing it since I am going to be stamping on it. But um, I actually wore this for a day before I did the stamping part of it so um you know I don't want I'm gonna be looking down and seeing some visible nail line look how glittery love it <laughs> I'm gonna top it with some posh top coat seal it all down and gloss it up and you know the gloss the glossy top coat it didn't like change the tin man so much but it does seal it down and give it a nice smooth finish and, you know, it's protecting that polish for me. But when I apply it to Dorothy Who, here we go. I'm a little off frame a little bit. It really does make it shine and sparkle and add depth to it. I just I love the magic of top coat. <laughs> it just makes me so happy. It makes those polishes come alive. And I am being sure to cap my free edge with that. And there we go. So today I'm going to be using the Moyu London Kaleidoscopic Collection 09, I think it's 09, Nicole Diaries stamping polish called Winter's Fury. It's the closest I could get to Ruby, I mean Dorothy Who. And then I'll be using the NS04, the silver from Nicole Diary, my monocle stamper, and my beauty scraper. I had to apply the IMK PLEs around the silverish nails because the blue was not wanting to come up off my fingers so I just did those I'm not worried about the silver the silver comes up really good with the tape trick so I didn't put pillies on that nail so there we go like I said I do realize that this stamping blue is not the same color as Dorothy who um, but it is close enough close enough for me <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one on the nail. And I know I'm covering up, but you did get to see, you know, Dorothy who swatched and what it looks like on its own. So I am gonna go in with a piece of tape and get up the silver extra stamping polish off of my finger. 
and it, you know, it comes up, this one's coming up really well. I've still got blue around my pointer finger. It's, it just didn't, it didn't come up as well. So there we go with our cleanup brush and some acetone, doing a little bit of tidying up here. I am going to top this one with some Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. Seal that in without smearing it. I'm in love with these Smudge Free Top Coats. So, so glad that all these companies have come out with them. Now I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. We're going to totally seal off this manicure. We're going to take care of business and give it that glossy shine and some extend wear. There we go. So I do have a swatch photo coming up here pretty soon, but I would love to hear from you and hear what you think about this manicure. Leave me a comment down below because you know I love chatting polish and manicures with you. Here's that swatch photo as promised. And I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.